you what I've got here guys. You can probably guess by the title of the video and also the fact that I'm wearing this fantastic uh, looking t-shirt that I have some more beer mail from the one and only Carl from Floor Sweepers Union. So thank you very much for this Carl. Um, Carl actually dropped around last week um, when he was on his way past and dropped these off and I gave him a taste test of my ESB and he took away my black IPA, the pothole. Um, so yeah, I've got these three lovely beers so I thought I'd show them to you and thought we would crack one open on camera. So we'll start with this one here. This is the Yakima Scarlet, clocking at 7%. So this is a clone of the Liberty Brewing Yakima Scarlet. Um, and now I've, I've tried um, the Yakima Scarlet version from Aiden at 1490 Brewing, so really looking forward to trying Carl's version of that. Uh, this one I'm really keen. Um, I mean keen on all the beers, but um, anything with peanut butter and uh, I haven't had too many beers with peanut butter, but I do like the taste. It's Carl's Peanut Butter. Now I'm pretty sure it's a stout. It says S, so I'm sure it's S for stout. Clocking in at 4.6. And then last but not least, this is Carl's Best Bitter. Now if you follow Carl, you may have seen I think on his last video that he came third in the Best Bitter competition. Um, it was run out at Hallatau and I believe there are at least 15 um, entrants for that and some of those guys are really good brewers um, so for Carl to get third in his first competition um, I think he's done extremely well so congratulations Carl and I thought this would actually be the beer that I would crack open first so let's get into it Ooh, nice hiss I think these have come off all come off the keg so I'll pour it up in this nice Emerson's glass here. I can see in the bottle that it is crystal clear. Pretty sure it's kegged. Yeah, there's no sediment there. Wow, so look at that. I'll come around so you can get a better view. So it's a beautiful copper, copper color. I was going to say just like a traditional sort of English ale colour. Um, beautifully clear, hopefully that's showing up, I think it is. Little head, nice little head on the top. I think the generally, now I have to just make a disclaimer, I don't know much about Best Bitters. I did brew my ESB, but I've never brewed a Best Bitter. And to be honest, I haven't had too many um, varieties. I do believe the style, as probably with the ESV, the carbonation is usually fairly low. Um, this is a lower ABV beer. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's usually around sort of four to four and a half percent. So sort of um, a more sessionable ESB, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, let's crack into it. Cheers, Carl's. Yeah, it smells a little bit like my ESB and as far as I'm getting that sort of nice caramel toffee sort of aroma off the top and a little bit sort of uh, maybe a little bit floral but real nice sort of delicate aroma. Um, yeah, can't smell any booze. Um, yeah, it's just really nice. It's a real nice ca caramel sweetness. Um, but yeah, not, not too in your face. Quite, yeah, like I say, quite delicate. Oh, that smells good. I'm going to crack in, guys, because I've just finished work for the day, so. Cheers to you all. Okay, um... The caramel was quite delicate on the nose, but it's definitely a lot more there on the flavour. There's definitely coming through a lot more on the flavour. Um, definitely getting that sort of 
um, toffee thing going on. I believe that um, Carl used a, a smidgen of roasted barley. So you are getting a sort of hints of um, roast there as well. Um, but it's also um, got some nice sort of biscuity, um, maybe even a little bit bready sort of malt flavour coming through. Really good bitterness up front. I don't know what the IBUs are, but you can feel the bitterness on your, on your tongue when you take the mouthful. And then when you swallow the beer, that just sort of slides away really nicely. I believe Best Bitter has been described as sort of the working man's um, beer in England. I can definitely see how, you know, if this is sitting at four, four and a half percent, how you could sit down after work or on the weekend and easily um, sink a few pints, pints of these. That is, that is really good, Carl. Not picking up any harsh, I don't mean to keep comparing it to my ESB, but there are some similarities, but mine had a little bit of a harshness to it, which um, this beer doesn't have. It's just got a really nice balance between the malts and the bitterness. You know, like, you know, you, you sort of, it goes from bitter up front to getting all the malts once you swallow it. Carbonation is really good. You know, there's a few bubbles streaming up, but the carb is pretty, pretty moderate, and I think that's probably guessing is what you what you want from the style. Um, yeah, that is fantastic. I'm really pleased um, to get to try this. Uh, I'm trying, struggling to think of any good New Zealand commercial um, varieties of best bitter, best bitter. Possibly Emerson's um, have done some or do some um, but if you guys know of any just yeah sing out put them in the comments I'll be keen to try them um, but yeah I could I could sit on that um, quite happily of an evening oh that was really good Carl okay guys I will keep it nice and short um, and if if that one goes down fairly quickly, which I imagine it might do, I might actually crack open one of these other two and do a separate video for that, so stay tuned for that, and um, yeah, we'll catch you then. Cheers guys, enjoy fantastic beers like this one from Carl, look how clear that is, beautiful, and um, we'll catch you in the next vid, over and out guys, cheers, cheers Carl.